Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today we are starting out with some wash and air dried slept on hair because I'm showing you guys 10 easy hairstyles to do on your mission. I talked about this video probably about six months ago and I was like, oh, I should do that. And everyone else was like, yeah, you should do that. And now I'm finally doing it. So, <laughs> um, but basically on my mission, um, I took, <coughs> I took very simple things with me as far as hair wise because I am not a hair guru. Let me tell you that, I can barely do a braid. Can't even French braid. I mean, I can just French braid pigtails, so that's about the height of it. So, yeah, this isn't super elaborate and extensive, super cute, but these are basic and just kind of everything I brought with me to take care of my hair while I was on my mission. So let's get started. So obviously I took shampoo and conditioner. Guys, I served in Lima, Peru, very humid. During the summer months, I needed to wash my hair every other day for sure. During the winter months, I could get away with washing it every three days, and that's what I currently do. Keeps my hair super healthy. I got a haircut about once every six months. Be careful getting haircuts in foreign countries. They will chop your hair off. <laughs> I had that happen one time and my hair got very short, but in the humid countries too, your hair will grow so fast. I loved it. Um, like I said, I did not take a blow dryer on my mission because I never use blow dryers. I like to sleep on wet hair because that's what gives my hair the most volume. And that, one, that way then when I wake up in the morning, it's already dry. I don't have to shower because I hated showering in the cold mornings. It's awful. We have hot water. So uh, it's not about that. But um, the things I did bring with me were obviously some shampoo conditioner, some dry shampoo. I took one bottle, just a little bit bigger than this, lasting my entire mission. Um, I took a bottle of hairspray, a big one like this. Once again, last to be my entire mission. Um, of course, some hair styling tools like a gross hairbrush that's full of my hair and a hair pick to comb through my hair when it was wet. And then um, some basics like a big old thing of hair ties with tons of different colors of them um, and clear elastics as well. You can get these on Amazon, super cheap. And then uh, once again, a little simple comb that I could tease my hair and then also part my hair with and then just a big old stockpile of bobby pins. So most of these things you can buy in foreign countries, I imagine, um, but it's just easier to bring them and then you don't have to worry about them and you don't have to spend your mission money or any personal money on that stuff. Um, I did also bring a curling iron. I brought a curling iron like this. This is from Bedhead. So these are about 30 bucks. Um, love these, they look super weird, but they work great for my hair. Love it. Um, I did one burnt up on me on my mission, literally caught fires, terrifying. Um, I had to buy a knockoff one. Yeah, I ended up buying just a normal curling iron and it was really expensive. Don't buy hot tools in other countries. I brought an adapter. I rarely use the adapter. That's probably why mine caught fire. But um, at least in Peru, it wasn't super necessary as long as it fit into the wall. And then I did take a straightener. This straightener has helped through, guys. This is a John Frieda straightener. Bought it probably when I was in high school. Still use it, made it through my mission. It looks terrible, but it gets the job done. Um, mostly what I needed to do every day with a straightener is I always straighten down my little baby hairs because guys, my baby's hairs get crazy. So, and then most of the time I would curl my hair on the first day of like it being freshly washed and then if I just want to curly hair, it would last the two or three days until I washed it again, which I really like that. I just threw some hairspray in it. Um, and then if I want to do different hairstyles though and things like that, um, I could just use that with my curly hair. But the hairstyles I'm going to show you guys, um, you can start with just your normal natural hair, mine's kind of wavy, and so yeah, we're gonna like go ahead and get into these 12 different hairstyles. Guess who already filmed this part of the video but has to do it again a week later? Me. I don't know what happened, but we lost some of the footage, so I put the same shirt on, got all ready again, and now we're gonna start off with these like six hairstyles that for some reason my camera didn't record. So, anyways, what we're gonna start off with, guys, is an Ariana Grande ponytail slash bun. So you guys know Ariana and she's so cute. Anyways, I uh, did my seat right here so that way you can see the back of my head too in the mirror right here and then you can kind of see what I'm doing because I'm terrible at explaining. So I just kind of sectioned my hair off in the top half and kind of comb that through messy or as smooth as you want it. Pull down some cute bangs and then you just go ahead and take a thick ponytail and you go ahead and just loop that little tail through and pull that tight. You can make this as poofy or as smooth as you want. And then you can tease the back of this thing to get some volume to your pony. I don't have that much hair, as you guys can see, so my hair underground pony isn't that great. But it gets the job done. And so I love doing this. And then another favorite thing I love to do is actually take some scrunchies and guys, you know me, I love these scrunchies. They're from Juniper Dress Company. I will have them linked down below. They're so cute, super affordable, and awesome to take on your mission. She sells them in sets of three, like in color packs, and they're adorable. And she has Halloween ones, and they're just so fun. And so just 
loop this over your pony and you are just Kimmy Gibbler. Comment down below if you know that reference. <laughs> I think it's so cute and it just makes your pony feel like extra cute and just super fun and if you're a little scrunchy. And so that's a couple hairstyles and then something that I like to do as well is you can always take this top ponytail, you can um, take it like so and just kind of tease the pony and twist it a little bit and then oops, you can wrap it around itself to give yourself a cute little half up, half down bun. And mine looks terrible right now, but um, with a little bobby pins and a little bit more patience, whoop, eh, you can get the, there we go, you can get a little bit of that job done. And that little half up, half bun. And so, yeah, moving on. All right, one of my hair, favorite hairstyles as of late, which you guys know this because you see me wearing them all the time, are space buns. I love me some space buns. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do them because I've had a lot of people ask. So basically what I do is comb out my hair. I part it into the center and then just grab a small little comb and I need to see if you do this. And just part your hair all the way down the center to the back. It doesn't have to be perfect, it can be messy. Sorry guys, I'm having to do these hairstyles in the viewfinder, so that's why I'm looking up there, but um, go ahead and brush these out through. <laughs> and just make those nice and high as you want them. You can also do low space buns, very cute. And uh, go ahead and you can take two little ponytails that I'll be matching, just two little elastic, two elastics. Go ahead and loop through. Now. I always forget to pull bangs out first, but that helps a lot if you pull bangs out first. And then, what I also do is right before I'm about to finish the pony, I only take it halfway through right here, and I just pull that tight. And then, I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side, so that way I get them even. Just go ahead and make that smooth or as messy as you like. What I do is I grab the end of the hair and I just tease up like this and um, just go ahead and tease that nice and big and this is what helps your space buns give it a really cute look. Then I just twist that mess I've just made and I wrap it around the little knobby thing that I made when I did the ponytail. So then you can just go ahead and take some bobby pins, it usually takes like one or two, um, and pin that little tail down and just pin them into place. You can go ahead and pull this part up, make it a little more voluminous. These are really poofy right now. <laughs> and so, I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. And then just pin in place. And then you have your two cute little space buns, and I love these guys. You can totally wear these as a missionary too, high or low, however you want them. Mine are a little bit crooked right now, but anyways, I love these. I think they're just so cute and so fun and just so trendy right now. So there's these some space buns, really easy and super cute. Okay, so what I'm gonna show you next is a little bit basic, but it's something, it's one of my favorite things to do. So you can just let your hair part however you want. Um, usually on the side is best than a middle part. And then what you do on the side that has some more hair, um, you just take the, like kind of this top quarter section and just grab some of that. And what I like to do is just braid this. You can fishtail it, you can do whatever kind of braid you want. But I think this is super cute and a great way to just get like bangs out of your face. Um, and you can finish it with whatever kind of elastic you want to, clear or not. And then just make sure you pull out the braid so it's nice and poofy and this is another one of my favorite things so it's just cute like you tried but not too much <laughs> so there's another one for you and then the next one has to do with braids as well and we're gonna go back to a middle part because we are doing some pigtail braids so just go ahead and part your hair back down the middle with your comb and this is where the clear elastics come in handy because that way then like your braids just look a lot better and this pack of clear elastics will last you forever on your mission. So, you guys know how braid works. You can do fishtail, whatever. So then something I like to do is I like to mess them up quite a bit so they're just not your average pigtail braids. So I like to pull some bangs out, 
kind of poof this up a little bit. I pull these out super big so it looks like I have hair when I really don't. And the new pigtail braids are just a little bit cuter. I get so many comments when I wear these. If you have glasses, it's even 10 times cuter. But pigtail braids are no longer for six year olds. You can rock them too. So, moving on. So we're gonna continue on this braid trend right now. Now guys, I know this is really simple, but one of these cute hairstyles, I wore a side braid on my mission a lot. And um, so I'll just go ahead and pull that all over. But something I really like to do was I would only braid, whoop, those aren't even. I would only braid like halfway down, so just like right there. And then you can take a hair tie and just pop that in there. And you can just pop a scrunchie in here and it looks so cute, especially if you have one like this with the little ties on it. So it looks like a little bow. This is a really fun thing to do and just once again mess it all up. Or if you want, you can just go ahead and finish the braid all the way down normally and once again pop the scrunchie in. Love it, because you have long hair, it's super pretty. The last, or not the last one, we're not even close to being done, guys. Um, we are doing a um, low bun, but with a fun little headband. Guys, I took a couple of headbands with me like this. Um, some of them were like decorative, like this red one that has some elastic on the other side. And so what I would do is I would just go ahead and I would slip that over the crown of my head. As you can see in the back, it's kind of like that. Um, and then I would usually take, how would I do this? All right, so then I would take the back half of my hair and slip that through so that way then the, stays in, the headband stays in place. And then I go ahead and then you can do this a couple ways. You can either keep it in a low ponytail like this and then like just pull some bangs out. And this is a super fun way. It looks super cute. And um, I guess I can actually put it in the ponytail for you guys because after this, I'm gonna show you guys how to do a low bun. So just kind of pull that hair out. So you have this cute little crown happening. And then what you can also do is take your hair and however you do just a normal bun, I just twist it and then wrap it around itself. And you can either just secure that with another hair tie or bobby pins and another super cute way to make this headband work. Super love it. And it just fell out. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> All right guys, another fun thing that I brought with me on my mission that I super liked is like, and I'm pretty sure I got these from like Walgreens, are these little hair tie wrap things basically just look like this they are little like metal plasticky things that are bendy that can go over your ponytail and I have one in just like a bunch of metal colors so there's like silver and kind of bronze and gold and then a black one now what I like to do with these is I wanted I always like to take just a low ponytail and um, as boring as that sounds just do a low ponytail and you can tease your hair as much as you want with this you can kind of pull it out, pull your bangs out, tighten up that ponytail in the back so it kind of looks like so, as you guys can see in my mirror right there. And then I would just take these cute little hair tie things and you can just pop them on over your hair like so. They can get really big too. They can like, for like girls with thick hair. And then it makes your ponytail look super cute like so. So, moving on. All right, and then this one, Guys, I call it the Cusco ponytail because if you've seen Edmund's New Groove, you know what Cusco's like crown looks like? How it's like a big old like fan arch thing? Yeah, this is what my hair is about to look like. Just wait. So what I do is on the last loop around your pony, go ahead and pull your hair through just halfway and then pull that out, pull it up, and so you can get some good old volume out of that hair. And then what I like to do is you can either, I like to just take this end right here as you can see, and I just twist the end of it like so. And then I just pop it underneath the hair tie in the back. So then it comes into like a little loop as you can see right there in the mirror. And um, eh, it's really poopy right now. But anyways, it just needs to look so weird. So you can go ahead and go like so, you can pull bangs out. Something that I like to do, which um, I thought was really fun on some days, I had headbands like this um, that were our like wrap elastic headbands. So it looks like it's like a wrap right here where it's knotted. Anyways, you can take that, pop it over your ponytail and over your forehead and just bring it down like so. And then you have a cute little knotted 
headband, looks super cute with your Cusco ponytail. And, um, or what you can also do, instead of using a headband, you can just pull tug right here so you get a little bit more poof action and then pull some bangs down like so. And so then you get a little bit more volume and it's just kind of like another version of a messy bun um, for your non-messy bun days. I'm not gonna show you guys how to do a messy bun because everyone has their own way and just embrace your own messy bun. <laughs> and now finally the last one I'm gonna show you guys how to do is another high pony, but I went ahead and pulled mine out on accident. So we're just gonna go ahead and pop that back up there as smooth or as messy as you want it. Just go ahead and do a high ponytail right on the like high point of your head and pull that tight. Now guys, this is kind of an old school thing, but if you're like me and you're in a foreign country, no one really cared about like hairstyle trends. So the sock bun was amazing. So I have this little spongy thing. Um, they sell these on Amazon for like a dollar. I've had mine for like five years. They don't fall apart. So what I do is I went ahead and just pop this over my hair. And this was such a fun, easy hairstyle when I was just having a bad hair day. And people in the foreign countries thought my bun looked amazing. I got so many compliments on this hairstyle um, like a year ago, even though sock buns were a thing from like 2012. So go ahead, and how I do my sock bun is, as you can see in the mirror, I just pull all the way up to the top, like so. And then I just take the ends of my hair and just pull them around to the sides of this. And then I just like invert the spongy donut thing over my hair until Peruvians called this a tomato bun because it looked like a tomato and then I just pulled that tight until it came over my hair and you can just kind of pull it and stretch it into place and once again pull these front hairs out so they look a little bit cuter and softer pull bangs out you can do whatever you want um, you can also braid a little section and wrap it around this and the little sock bun thing was a killer way to go for those super hot days. They thought it was the coolest hairstyle ever. So yeah, all right guys, that is it for all these hairstyles. Like I said, a little bit boring, but a little bit different with some of them. And hopefully this can give you some ideas for your missions. Remember, you don't have to look beautiful every single day on your mission. You are going to look beautiful if you just smile and do your job as a missionary and spread the gospel and share your wonderful spirit. <laughs> Super lame, but it's true. Anyways, if you guys also want some other ideas, some more elaborate ones that I obviously can't do because as you can see, my hairstyling skills are a little bit on the lower grade of things, but you can go ahead and print out some Pinterest hairstyles if you want. Um, I've told you guys in the past, I printed out Pinterest workouts and took them with me. Um, that's totally fine. You can get some ideas, cute ideas like this, have people send you hairstyle ideas in the mission if you get super bored. Um, yeah. I learned that basically I didn't care about my hair. Um, I did like a little bit to where I wanted it to look nice every day, but I learned to do some pretty simple hairstyles. If you guys are kind of one of those girls that, you know, needs to blow dry your hair in the morning, that is totally fine. You will have time to do that. You'll have time to do it at night. Um, like I said, I brought a big can of hairspray and I would hairspray all these looks into place. Um, so that way they would stay throughout the day. Take bobby pins, basic hair supplies, and yeah, that's pretty much all you need to survive in the mission with your hair. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are going to use any one of these hairstyles, go ahead and give this a thumbs up. Leave video ideas in the comments down below. Guys, we're still working on a name change. I know I have a meeting this week to hopefully get that um, a new name in the works. So yeah. Also, if you're one of those girls that feels the need to like fully straighten your hair every day or like curl your hair every day, um, I really encourage you to embrace your natural hair in your mission. It's like the only time in your life that it's like fully acceptable just to embrace your natural hair and no one's gonna judge you for it because they're already judging you for wearing knee length skirts and talking about Jesus all day. <laughs> for real though, I learned to embrace my own skin and my hair really well on my mission and it was a really fun time. And guys, enjoy your missions. Don't worry about the small things, don't sweat it. Also, don't worry about, there's no rules about hair as long as it's not like purple um you can dye your hair you can do whatever you want in the mission i cut it i dyed it i did a lot of things so yeah don't be afraid mission's not prison um you can still play with your hair and be just as cute as you are normally all right guys that's it for today's video and i will see you in next week bye